good morning good morning guys hey how y'all doing today today is friday um so today i had to take my son to the to get blood work done so i woke up got them ready got them dressed took him to get his blood work that was hell because i mean as soon as he see the building he starts crying so that was that and i just dropped them off to daycare because i gotta go to work later so I dropped them up to daycare and I'm just about to go ahead and put some gas in my car because I am at 77 miles to E. So I'm going to go ahead and put some gas in the car. And then of course you guys know I'm about to go get breakfast at where? <laughs> Starbucks. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead put gas in the car and listen y'all there's a gas station right here but they are $2.99 I'm not paying $2.99 for no gas I will ride down the road to this other gas station down here that is um $2.89 and I'll get gas from there so don't judge me listen honey too expensive right now so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gas station and get me some gas fill my tank up so and then after that, I will head to Starbucks and get me something to eat. And then um, figure out, I don't know, figure out what I'm going to make for lunch today. So that the boys can have something to eat and Javi can have something to eat also. So that's what I'm about to do. So let me go get this gas, y'all. See what I told y'all guys. It is $2.89 over here. So I'm about to go get me some gas. I left my keys in the car. Really? That wouldn't have been good. Yeah, guys, so I'm just here. Got some gas in the car. Gonna hit the Starbucks. Y'all, I'd be so happy I don't have a truck or like an SUV or something. Because with these gas prices, honey, if that thing be going to almost $50 to fill up my little car, I don't know how much y'all be paying for gas. I just know I can't. So. I'm glad I just got my little car because, honey, these gas prices is ridiculous and it don't look like it's getting, um, really don't look like it's going nowhere. All I keep seeing is $2.89 and it goes back to $2.99. Some places have it for $3. It's ridiculous. So, yeah. But I'm about to head over here to Starbucks, like I said, so I can go ahead and get me some breakfast um guys i know this covid crap that's going on is crazy because literally the number of kids and teachers um that got the covid since school started back is outrageous like when i say outrageous it's outrageous so I mean, I don't know. It's just, you know, before they, you know, they would say that the virus is not affecting the kids as much as it is adults. But now, like I'm saying, these kids are getting COVID left and right. And like, I don't know if the schools are, like I know some schools are not enforcing the mask. Like I think there was like a waiver or something that you can sign to say that, you know, your kids don't, don't have to wear the mask which i don't understand what parent would want to sign and say oh well my child don't have to wear the mask when they know what's going on when they know about the covid and know you know like people are dying from that stuff so why would you want to you know opt out for your child to not wear a mask at school with other kids you know like we don't know we don't know who these kids are around when they're not at school um we don't know you know the same way that the kids can get it from another kid at school it's the same way that one of those 
kids, you know, parents or aunties, friends, whoever they, you know, hang around at home can bring it to them from their job or they was hanging around somebody else. And that's how it, you know, that's how it goes around because it's like, okay, you know, you're hanging out with her and your mom, you know, your mom's at work. Let's say your mom works around a lot of people and then she can get it from the job and then brings it home and then the kids get it and you know the kids come to school and they give it to another child so it's just it's just crazy that people are you know opting out from their kids you know not wearing a mask so like I know and some kids um they're saying that you know they're not wearing like I know my friend our daughter she'll ask her daughter you know like does she wear her mask all the time and she's like no you know we don't wear it that much or you know sometimes the teachers say it's okay for you to take it off i mean like it's just crazy what's i'm so happy that my kids go to a daycare now my son he's in pre-k and i'm so happy that nothing has literally affect them or any of the teachers or anyone at the um, daycare has gotten anything like that because it is just crazy what's going on in the world like i don't know what i would do if my kids were like literally going to a big public school or any school that has you know thousands of kids or hundreds of kids that go there because i don't know what i would do i probably they probably won't be going to school because it's just crazy like with my son with my sons you know having whatever you know everybody has their own health issues so with my son you know having whatever it's just crazy that people would just take it lightly as in you know okay whatever my child don't have to wear a mask but i mean there's a lot of people that's out there that's still not wearing a mask like and it's not you can't force them to you can't make them to there's some people out there that just think that covid is just a thing and it's not real i've had an associate that worked with me and she literally told me that covid was just a thing that she didn't believe in it that it was covid was just it was nothing and a few months later her dad ends up passing away from COVID. So, I mean, if like that don't wake you up and that don't tell you that, hey, this is not a joke, this is serious, y'all better get it together, honey, because people are dying left and right. My sister works at um, the hospital and I mean, every day she's like texting me stuff, telling me about people that's there or, you know, just telling me that, you know, it's sad to see a family come in, you know, that's sick or there's you know battling the covid you know being on a ventilator it is just crazy all i'm saying is guys i try to do the best to protect me and my kids um i'm you know vaccinated my husband is vaccinated you know my mom is my sister is most of my family members are just the little you know the young kids they're not um vaccinated because they you know they can't but my mom works at a nursing home so just imagine how that is so with me working at a place where there's people coming in coming in to walmart left and right you kind of have to be you know protect yourself somehow i always wear a mask even though it's aggravating i always have my mask on because i know when i leave work and i come home to my kids you never know what it is that you can bring home to your babies so i mean i like i said I just, you know, do everything in, in my power to, you know, protect me and my kids. Not saying that, you know, everything that I'm doing will, you know, protect us. But I am, me and my husband, we're doing everything in our, you know, power just to, you know, I really don't go out that much. Um, I can't tell the last time, like, I've been out, well, the other day I went out to eat. But my kids, is usually, it's sad because, like, I get off of work and I go pick them up and we might stop to get some food and then we go right back home. Um, or we go to their, you know, grandma's house. Um, I used to take them to the park. Like, we usually go to the park and stuff. Last week, my son got, he caught the a freaking hand, foot, and mouth thing or something like that. Um, I don't know if it's from the daycare, from the parks. I don't know where, but he caught it. And luckily, my oldest son did not get it. I try to keep him away as much from the youngest one so that he will um, catch it. But guys, I, it's just a crazy world that we live in, and we just got to take precautions. Like, I know I do for my kids because it's just sad. And it's just like you sit there and you think, like, am I doing the right thing by sending my kids back to school? Or am I doing the right thing by, you know, doing this virtual learning? It's just confusing. And 
I mean, this COVID thing has been going on for how long? And it don't look like it's going anywhere. That's sad to say, but it does not look like this COVID crap is going anywhere. Y'all, I just made a video about how I'm going to be trying to lose weight, right? <laughs> and now I'm not going to come back to come to Starbucks no more, but I'm here. But um, that hasn't started yet. I still need to lose weight, but I did not start yet. So let me be great. Um, I do want to lose some weight because I feel like I currently weigh too much. This is probably the biggest I've ever been. Even when I was pregnant, this is probably the biggest I've ever been. I've never been um, this big. Which, I mean, I don't feel like I'm fat, but just some areas um, I feel like I need to work on um, my stomach, for one. And that's probably it. If I just lose my stomach, then I'll be fine. That's the only thing that I'm concerned about. Um, so, yeah. I'm still going to give myself some time. I just want to look into some workouts, um, try to get into the gym and stuff. And then I need to I also need to start drinking some more water because I tend to do sodas more than I do water. And sometimes I'll buy a soda and a water. I know, I know, guys, this is so sad. Like, I buy a soda and a water, drink some soda and drink some water. Don't judge me. I need to do better. I'm trying. I'm trying to do better. Okay. Y'all. Why he got... Let me stop. Anyways. Anywho, so I am waiting to get in line now. Sometimes you have to wait right here because the cars behind us will go straight. Tell me why people will just be thinking that you're just standing there and then they'll just pull in front of you like they don't see you waiting. And that's when I get mad because I'm like, are you serious? So, I mean, I'm trying to, I'll be trying to be good not to cut the traffic off, but people be getting mad when you're sitting there and they'll just cut in front of you like you weren't even waiting in line. Y'all already know I get the same thing. So caramel ribbon crunch it is with my smoked bacon cheddar sandwich. That's what it is. That's what I'm getting. And I think I'm going to get a large today. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Yes, can I just get the caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino, a large? A large caramel ribbon crunch. Anything else for you today? And the double smoked bacon and cheddar sandwich. And the double smoked bacon and cheddar. And is that all? Yes, sir. Gotcha. It is going to be $11.98. window. Thank you. Yeah, I just made a video about how I'm going to be trying to lose weight, right? <laughs> and now I'm not going to come back to come to Starbucks no more, but... I'm here, but um, that hasn't started yet. I still need to lose weight, but I did not start yet. So let me be great. Um, I do want to lose some weight because I feel like I currently weigh too much. This is probably the biggest I've ever been. Even when I was pregnant, this is probably the biggest I've ever been. I've never been um, this big. Which, I mean, I don't feel like I'm fat, but just some areas um i feel like i need to work on um my stomach for one and that's probably it if i just lose my stomach then i'll be fine that's the only thing that i'm concerned about um so yeah i'm still gonna give myself some time i just want to look into some workouts um try to get into the gym and stuff and then i need to i also need to start drinking some more water because i tend to do sodas more than i do water and sometimes I'll buy a soda and a water. I know, I know, guys, this is so sad. Like, I buy a soda and a water, drink some soda and drink some water. Don't judge me. I need to do better. I'm trying. I'm trying to do better. Okay. Now, look at this. It's, it's probably bad that I drink this every day, but I don't even really finish the whole thing, to be honest. I usually just always leave like half. So, like I was saying, guys, this is what it looks like. A lot of good stuff in there. I also watched a video last night on YouTube where this girl, she made her own frappuccino. So maybe I'm going to try to do that. Maybe I'll try to see if I can save money and make my own frappuccino. And then I have my sandwich here. This sandwich is really good. I mean, I've never had a sandwich from McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts that tastes like this. This is what it looks like. When I tell you, it's so good. Mm. So like I was saying, guys. 
this is what it looks like a lot of good stuff in there i also watched a video last night on youtube where this girl she made her own frappuccino so maybe i'm gonna try to do that maybe i'll try to see if i can save money and make my own frappuccino and then i have my sandwich here this sandwich is really good i mean i've never had a sandwich from mcdonald's or dunkin donuts it tastes like this this is what it looks like when i tell you it is so good mm. so guys i am back at the house and i really need to try to get my find my computer my um charger for my laptop because school my classes start back on the 30th i believe that's monday so i need to get my find my charger for my laptop i don't know what the kids do with it so i need to go ahead and look for that so i can go in log in and um order my book so that's gonna be a whole nother thing hopefully i can get through this semester without any issues um the last semester i took a break i took a break last semester because it was just too much um with work school and the kids and everything else that was going on it was too much so i really had to take a break from school so but now i'm starting my classes back up so i just need to get my i got my laptop but i need to find a charger which i gotta ask my brother where he put my charger because sometimes he uses my laptop too. so he probably took it and put it somewhere so yeah i need to figure out where that charger is so I can log in and go ahead, like I said, and get my classes together. Um, I'm trying to look for something on Netflix that I want to watch, but I'm probably just going to go ahead and play some music and clean up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. There's some shows on here, but if you leave a comment in the, um, leave me a comment in the box in the leave a comment below and let me know what shows that you guys watch on um, Netflix I love all Americans so I just finished up the last season and I was disappointed at the end so um let me guys know something else that you watch I know like my friend she watched criminal minds or something like that I don't know if I really like that one but anything else let me know what shows or movies that you guys watch on Netflix and which one is good comment below so I can go you know check them out check it out because sometimes i'll be here looking for something to watch and can't find nothing at all so let me know what you guys like so i can take a look at it too um this green leaf thing keep popping up i've never watched that if you know me you know that i don't know anything about movies don't ask me nothing about no movies okay because i'm not a big movie person if it's a really good movie then i'll watch it you know but i'm not the person that's like into movies or new movies that's coming out or anything like that so i just like to watch a good movie that's all um i know i watched this movie love jackson on here Ooh, so yeah so let me know guys okay i'm probably gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit get everything together and probably take a little nap before I head to work. I do have to take this car downstairs. I gotta take this um car downstairs in the closet. It's supposed to be a Christmas gift, but they'll probably, they already see. This car, I need to go ahead and take it downstairs in the closet. It's supposed to be a Christmas gift, but um been telling my husband to take it downstairs. He didn't take it. They already seen it, but I mean, I'm going to put it away. They're probably going to forget about it in December. That's when they'll see it again.
Guys, I need to go ahead and try to download um, Pandora back on my TV. Um, the kids broke the other TV that we had, so I had to buy a new TV. So I need to go ahead and download Pandora on there because sometimes I'll play music on Pandora and I had to turn it down. I'll play music on Pandora while I'm cleaning up or something like that. So I'm going to have to go ahead and download Pandora again on my TV. Yeah, I just looked at the time and it was nine something. All of a sudden it's 1025. I need to go take me a nap. I'm going to take a nap before I go to work. So guys, I will catch you guys in another video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feeling. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.